Next, we will show you the detail information on Takakura composting method. There are three main steps. Step one is to make fermenting liquid. Make fermenting liquid by using fermented foods, sugar, fruits, salt, water, and others. Step two is to make fermenting bed with rice bran and rice husks. Prepare fermenting bed with rice bran and rice husks by adding the prepared fermenting liquid to rice bran and rice husks. Step three is to compost organic waste. Add organic waste in the prepared fermenting bedding to compost organic waste. Each step has more detailed procedures, so we will explain the steps in order. Now we will introduce the materials required for composting. A fermentative microorganism is required in order to compost organic waste. The following can be used as fermentative microorganisms: lactic acid bacteria, yeast, rice malt bacteria, natto bacteria, etc. These help to break down easily compostable proteins. These can be obtained from fermented foods. In Japan, these include yogurt, natto, rice malt, pickles, kimchi, dry yeast, etc. Fermented foods are also available in many countries. Furthermore, actinomycete breaks down fibers. Actinomycete can be found in leaf mold. The white bacteria on fallen leaves in forests is actinomycete. Basidiomycete breaks down woody substances and breaks down the hard fibers in organic waste. Fungus are comprised of clusters of basidiomycete. For this reason, fungus is included here. For safety reasons, commercially available fungus or mushrooms are advised. Step one. Produce fermenting liquid. Fermenting liquid is necessary to use fermentative microorganisms efficiently. Now we will explain the method to produce fermenting liquid with fermented foods and sugar water. In order to enable the fermented food bacteria to proliferate, we place them into sugar water. Leaf mold, however, contains contaminant bacteria, so should not be placed in sugar water. The concentration of sugar should be enough for the water to be sweet to the taste. These containers hold fermented foods and mushrooms. Only the stems of the mushrooms are used. There is no specific quantity required. The larger the volume used, the faster the process will be completed. If a small quantity is used, the process will be completed more slowly. The lid is closed once everything has been placed in the container. But since gas is produced by the fermenting liquid, the lid should be loosened. The fermentative microorganism will proliferate in three to five days. The measure of success is a sweet and sour smell. If the liquid smells clearly bad, the process has failed. Since there is a possibility that bacteria have entered the mix, the sanitation of the fermented food and the water should be confirmed. If water appears to be the cause, the water should be boiled and then cooled in order to reduce the amount of bacteria. What should you do if you live in a country without fermented foods? In countries without fermented foods, fermentative microorganisms can be found on the surface of fruits and vegetables. We will show you how to produce fermenting liquid with vegetables, fruits, and salt water. Locally grown fruit should be used for this. Any leaf or fruiting vegetable, not root vegetables, may be used. The skin of fruits and vegetables contains lactic acid bacteria and yeast, 
which act to protect the fruit or vegetable from the outside. Root vegetables also carry soil bacteria, so are to be avoided. Make up salt water. The water should be one to two percent salted, roughly equivalent to the flavor of soup. Leaves and skin from vegetables, as well as the skin of fruits, should be added. There is no need to add the fruit itself. Once everything has been placed in the container, it should be closed. Since gas is produced by the fermenting liquid, the lid should be loosened. The fermentative microorganisms will proliferate in three to five days. The measure of success is if the mixture smells slightly sour, like a pickle. If it smells like alcohol, then the process is complete. If the liquid smells clearly bad, the process has failed. Since there is a possibility that bacteria have entered the mix, the sanitation of the fermented food and the water should be confirmed. If water appears to be the cause, the water should be boiled and then cooled in order to reduce the amount of bacteria. Step two: Make fermenting bed. Use the fermenting liquid prepared at step one to make fermenting bed necessary for composting. We will explain the steps. The ideal materials for the fermenting bed are rice bran and rice husks in a ratio of one to one. But if rice bran is hard to obtain, a ratio of one to two or one to three is also possible. Since this will make the proliferation of bacteria slower, however, it is best to strengthen the concentration of the fermenting liquid. Furthermore, rice straw, fallen leaves, wheat bran, leaf mold, hay, etc., can also be used in place of rice husks. Whatever base materials are being used, adding around 10% weight of rice bran will promote the proliferation of bacteria. Add the fermenting liquid to the base materials and mix well. If necessary, add water to maintain an appropriate level of liquid. Add leaf mold if available. If not available, add an additional quantity of fallen leaves. The water content of compost. Should be between 40 and 60 percent. This is how to adjust the water content. First, take some of the fermenting bed in your hand and squeeze it. The conditions are just right if no water seeps out when the compost is squeezed, and the compost forms a lump when the hand is opened. If the compost does not form a lump when squeezed and falls apart when the hand is opened. The water content is under 40 percent. If water flows out between the fingers when the compost is squeezed, the water content is above 60 percent. It is important that the materials and the fermenting liquid are mixed evenly. This completes the preparation of the fermenting bed. Cover the fermenting bed with breathable fabric to ensure that insects do not get in. The cover can be made from jute bags, newspaper, or fabric. Sometimes heat can begin to be generated inside the materials after a day or so. The compost is ready when white bacteria have proliferated across its surface. This takes between three days and a week. If there is less rice bran in the mix, it may take longer. However, this completes the fermenting bed. 
If this is to be distributed to households, it should be dried for ease of transportation. Once the fermenting bed has been dried, it can be stored for long periods. Step three: Organic waste compost. Finally, organic waste will be changed to compost. We will show you how. A container is required for household compost. Use a breathable container. A shopping basket, bamboo basket, earthenware pot, or cardboard box can be used as a container. If the container has large holes in it, it should be lined with carpet, fabric, cardboard, etc., in order to prevent spillage or insects from entering the container. Fill the container 60% full with fermenting bed. Cover the bed with newspaper. Then use a breathable cover such as fabric, jute, or non-woven material. Chop the organic waste finely. Place it in the container and mix well. The smaller the waste is chopped, the quicker it will ferment. Squeezing water out of the waste before it is added will also avoid the compost becoming too wet. Mix the compost once per day to allow air to reach the bacteria. Keep the container covered properly to avoid entering of insects. If the breakdown of organic waste has taken place as expected, it should take around three months for the container to become full. Once the container is full. Part of the compost should be removed. At this point, take care not to remove all the compost from the container. The remaining compost will continue to act as the fermenting bed. This way is efficient because step one and two can be shortened. The compost that has been removed cannot be used as fertilizer immediately. There will be some pieces of organic waste remaining in the compost. These need to be broken down before the compost is used. Remove the compost and place it in a breathable cardboard box or jute bag. Keep the water content at the same rate as the compost, 40 to 60 percent, and store for two weeks. Now we will show you how to use the completed compost. Using compost to mix with soil, the compost for use still has organic waste in it that has not completely broken down and therefore has internal heat. This means that the fermentation bacteria will work aggressively to break the waste down as soon as it is mixed with soil. At this time, since heat or gas may escape from the soil, the soil should be left as it is for two to three weeks after mixing. Adding fertilizer to planted soil. Once produce has been planted, the compost should be placed on top of the soil. Keep it slightly away from plant roots. Here we will show you common problems and how to deal with them. What do I do if the compost smells bad? Most bad odors in compost are caused by high water content. As water content increases, the condition of the compost worsens, so the compost should be mixed well to allow air to be taken in. To improve water content, you can add rice bran, leaf mold, dry tea leaves, or coffee grounds. What do I do about insects? Insects do not like heat, 
so put it in a black plastic bag and place it in direct sunlight. What do I do if the temperature does not rise? The following could be causes for the temperature not rising. One, it is too dry. Two, there is too much water. Three, the type of organic waste. Four, the type of fermentative microorganism. Repeat the test for water content. Vegetables with high fiber content or leaves that do not break down easily will restrict the temperature from rising. In order to make the temperature rise, you can use rice bran or used cooking oil. In addition, rice, sweet juices, lactic drinks, fruits, etc., also help the temperature to rise. Some of fermentative microorganisms, depending on their types, however, grow at a low temperature. As long as the organic waste is breaking down, there is no problem even if the temperature does not rise. So try not to worry too much about the temperature, and rather concentrate on observing the state of the decomposition of the waste. What do I do if leaf mold is not available? Leaf mold is not necessarily only found in forests. It can be found under trees on the street or in parks, and is found on fallen leaves. The three basic points for composting are: one, mixing; two, water content; and three, cutting up organic waste into small pieces. If you do all three of these things, your compost will be successful.